I will now discuss question 4, which is a provisional tax calculation question with you. In my required portion, it stipulates that I need to calculate the first and second provisional tax payments for the 2014 year of assessment. And there's a note there, clearly state on which date the payment must be made. And that's 9 marks. That's part A. Part B, for the first provisional tax payment for 2014, what will the basic amount be if the 2013 assessment was issued on 15 June 2013? And then part C, calculate the third provisional tax payment for the 2014 year of assessment, assuming that the actual taxable income for the 2014 year of assessment was 1,890,850 Rand and also indicate by which date such payment should be made to SAS. Now another important note. Ignore the Tax Administration Act that came into effect on 1st of October 2012. The important thing that we have to do before we start answering the question is to identify our taxpayer and its year of assessment. In the question, I have highlighted key information for you already with a highlighter in yellow. The company is called Sunshine P2Y and very important, it's not a small business corporation as defined. Second important bit of information, the year of assessment ends on 31 March each year. Thus, the 2014 year of assessment will end 31 March 2014. Important information that was supplied in the question is the following. This little table, the heading tax year, taxable income and date of assessment. 2012 year of assessment, the taxable income was 1.2 million and the assessment by SARS was issued on the 4th of April 2013. The 2013 year of assessment with a taxable income of 1,354,980 Rand was issued on the 15th of September 2013. For 2014, the taxable income is 1,784,432 Rand and in brackets, it's estimated, estimated taxable income not yet being assessed. Now I have accumulated or read all the important information. We will start our question by drawing a timeline. By now you should be familiar with the concept of a timeline. The timeline will represent my year of assessment. In this question the year of assessment starts on the 1st of April 2013 and it runs through to the 31st of March 2014. That rep represents my year of assessment. To break the year of assessment down in two periods, the first period will be in that will end 30 September 2013, which will be my first provisional tax period. My second provisional tax period will run through from the 30th of September 2013 and will end on 31 March. 2014. That's my second provisional tax period. Because in this example, the company's taxable income is exceeding 1 million rand, he has the option of making a third non-compulsory provisional tax payment. In other words, a topping up payment. Now, because the year end is 31 March 2014, it has to be made within six months after the year end, which ends 30th of September 2014, and that will be my additional third payment. Now, just to go and analyze the information that was supplied within the question to me, on the 4th of April 2013, the income tax assessment for 2012 was issued with a taxable income of 1.2 million. On the 15th of September 2013, the 2013 tax assessment was issued with a taxable income of 1,354,980 rand. 
Now, remember, we're working with a provisional tax payment. In terms of the rules of the provisional tax payment, the payment that is about to be made must be made according to the latest year of assessments taxable income that was issued or else an estimate. In this instance, the 2013 year of assessment was issued not more than 60 days prior to the due date of the first provisional tax payment, which is to be made on the 30th of September 2013. Therefore, I have to use the 2012 year of assessments taxable income and then adjust it accordingly to make my provisional tax calculation. I'm going to move now to my answer and start with the calculation of the first provisional tax payment. Now the question stipulates that you need to calculate the first provisional tax payment and also indicate on which date it will have to be made. So I will start to write there. First provisional tax payment and it has to be made by the 30th of September 2013. Now remember, we said that we're going to use the 2012 as our basic amount. So we write the basic amount. And I'll put it in my column as 1.2 million rand. I have to use the 2012 because that's the latest year of assessment, not older than 60 days. I can't use 2013. But I have to make an adjustment to align it for my 2014 year of assessment. And I have to increase my basic amount by 8% for each year of assessment in question. In this instance, 2013 plus 2014, because I'm busy with my 2014 year of assessment. Therefore, my calculation will be 1.2 million times 8% times 2 for the two years after my 2012 year of assessment, and that amounts to 192,000 rand. So my taxable income that I will use to calculate my first provisional tax payment will be based on 1,392,000 rand. Therefore, the tax on 1392 at 28%, remember the company is not a small business corporation, equals 389760. And my first payment will be 50% of my calculated tax of 389760. And that will be 194880. So there's my first provisional tax payment. Part B of the first question is I also need to calculate the second provisional tax payment. And that is due on the year of assessment that ends 31 March 2014. So 31 March 2014. Now let's get back to our timeline first. On our timeline, we're there the 31st of March 2014, which is the due date. Now, the important thing to note here, the taxable income for this entity is exceeding 1 million rand. And because it exceeds 1 million rand, the taxpayer can either use the estimate taxable income for 2014, or he can use 80% of the estimate. Therefore... The estimate was provided to us in our question. Let's just put the question back again. The estimate taxable income is 1.784432 rand. And that's the figure that I will use in my answer. Therefore, my second provisional tax payment, I will write there 
taxable income is exceeding 1 million and therefore I will use my estimated taxable income for 2014 and that is 1784432 the alternative would be to say 80% of my estimated taxable income of 1784432 and that will be 1427546 however i'm going to use my estimate figure so the tax on 1784432 at 28% tax rate for a company is 499641. That's the tax for the full year. I now have to deduct my first provisional tax payment that I've calculated above, which is 194880. Just to show you where I got it from, I will indicate it here in my calculation. And the balance that remains is 304761. And that will be my second provisional tax payment for 2014. Now I've addressed both sections of part I have calculated my first provisional tax payment and my second provisional tax payment. So let's just put the solution aside. I get back to my required portion again. Part B. In part B, it stipulates for the first provisional tax payment for 2014, what will be the basic amount if the 2013 assessment was issued on 15 June? 2013. Now remember, when you are dealing with provisional tax payment, you're always working with the latest assessment that's available, provided it's not older than 60 days. If one looks at the timeline, and I've drawn a timeline for my part B of the question, just to illustrate the principle there, Again, my year of assessment starts on the 1st of April 2013. It ends on 31 March 2014. My first payment was due on 30th of September 2013. In part B, it stipulates that the 2013 year of assessment was issued on the 15th of June 2013. On my timeline, that's well more than 60 days before the due date. Therefore, I have to use the 2013 year of assessment as my basic amount for the calculation of my first provisional payment based upon the new taxable income for 2013. Therefore, my answer, part B, I will write there as it is more than 60 days old, the 2013 taxable income can be used as the basic amount and no adjustment have to be made. Remember the adjustment that I'm referring to is the 8% adjustment for my taxable income. So the figure that I'm going to use is 1354980 being the taxable income for the 2013 year of assessment. And that concludes part B of my answer. I still have to do part C. Let's just get back to the question. 
part C asked, you need to calculate the third provisional tax payment for the 2014 year of assessment, assuming that the actual taxable income for the 2014 year of assessment was 1.89 million 850,000 rand, and also indicate by which date such payment should be made to SARS. Many students fail to answer part, uh, the second part by not indicating the date. They do the calculation, but they do not provide the date as well. So my last bit of my calculation is my third provisional tax payment. Third provisional tax payment. Maybe I should just get back to my original timeline and just show you where does that fit in on my timeline. I jump around a little bit. My year assessment ends on the 31st of March 2014. I need to make my provisional tax payment within six months after the year of assessment if the year of assessment ends after February. In this instance, 31st of March, so six months down the line, I have to make my third payment. So there on the 30th of September, and I will use the taxable income that was provided, the assumed taxable income. So there you can see how it fits is on the timeline. Back to the calculation then. My third provisional tax payment is due on the 30th of September, 2014, I will use the actual taxable income that was provided, which is 1890850. Then my tax on 1890850, again at 28%. It's 529438. That's a tax for the full year on the total taxable income. I now have to deduct, first of all, the first provisional tax payment that was made, and that is 194880. Again, you remember where we got it from, from the first payment, I just transferred it back there. And also the second provisional tax payment, that was all calculated in part, it, in part A. Remember in the exam, this will be a principal mark, so you have to show this calculation, the 304761, and it's from there that I got that figure. And all I then need to do is to calculate the balance. It's 29,797. So that will be my calculated third provisional tax payment for 2014. Just to wrap up on the provisional tax payment, remember, you have to work with all the facts that was provided within the question. It will not be provided without any valid reason. So you just can't ignore information that's provided. By following, again, a structured approach in answering the question, you can make sure that you address all the key issues that you need to address. By showing you how to use a timeline in solving some of the more complicated issues really will assist you in planning your answer in exam conditions. Remember, once again, try not to exceed the time allocated for this question. Thank you for watching this DVD and we trust that this will really assist you in preparation towards your exam.